Today we're going to do a pastel of one of the masters of the sea. This is a great white shark. Now, I would suggest that you turn your paper vertically so you'll have lots of room because he's got a great big mouth. We, these are the colors that we're going to be using. These are the shark's colors. A gray, a dark blue, and a black. Here is lips and his teeth. And here are the ocean colors that will be around the shark. So let's pick up the gray, turn it to where you've got a point, and we're going to draw off our shark. I'm going to start around his mouth and see if I can get it in first. It's really a simple lines. There's his dorsal fin. And he's coming right at you. So, there he is. Now, I'm going to put his mouth in. Pick up your black. And let's see if we can get this open mouth. Put some teeth. Now you can draw your teeth in as many as you like and as sharp as you like. His tongue is in there, so we're going to make it it's sort of like an M shape. Alright, take your red. Let's get that tongue in right away. And then let's outline that mouth. <clears throat> like he's just had supper. Pick up your black again. Now you don't have to go all the way around these teeth because you can use your finger to smooth in the black as you see. There we go. Smooth in. Now we're only going to show one of the shark's eyes. He has another one on the other side of the head but we won't see it. There's his eyeball. Leave a little bit of white. We always try to do that in animal pictures to make it look more lifelike, like the eye has real life to it. Okay. Now, we're going to give him some coloration. Use your finger, kind of smooth it in. See how the, the black and the blue go together real, really well. Tips of his tail and fins are darker, which makes it easier for you because you won't have to color in so much. See, you can smooth it in because the majority of his body is going to be a whitish color, okay? Now, just about finished with our shark. If you want to, you can go back and redefine the edges to where he stands out a little bit. Pretty fierce looking. All right, there he is in the middle of the paper, all by himself. Let's get out a little bit. I forgot to tell you about the yellow. If you want to make it look like he's really showing up in this ocean, let's just give him some yellow. It's almost like electricity around him. And then. Remember when you are painting the ocean that it's darker down toward the bottom of the ocean and as you go up toward the surface it's much lighter. And you'll be able to 
smooth these colors together so that yellow doesn't show up so much. Make it nice and smooth. Now the last thing you can do is to put some scared little fish out here trying to get away from this big old shark. And they're easy to draw. It's just a straight line and a tail like that. Or you can actually make a fish shape like that. And you can color them all different kinds of colors if you like. You can have some little dots. And there you have your great white shark. And you see, you are an artist.